everyone so my this video is related to uh, you know doms iit madras ms program uh, department of management it is a very prestigious department and prestigious course and everybody wants to join it uh, one of the reasons is like uh, at low gate score you get a call for you know interviews even at less than 400 gate score general category you get a call but that is only interview call what is very important is like statement of purpose and research proposal is something which is very very important for this department they give a lot of value to this. Gate score is not important. So if you want to, you know, get into DOMS at Madras, then you should work on, uh, you know, statement of purpose and research proposal. My this video is about that only. How for DOMS at Madras, you should make that particular pro research proposal. And how should you identify research area for you? There are a couple of, you know, areas he has given, how you should select a particular research area for you. Now, if I tell you that, Equivalent management course, if you want to land up in IIC Bangalore in, you know, Masters of Management or NITI Bombay or IE or IIT Bombay, you need to have very good score, 800 gate score. Now, suppose you do not have 800 gate score, you have, let's say, 400 gate score, general category. Still, you want management. Don't you think you should put effort somewhere? And that effort is on SOP SOR. Let me tell you how it is to be done and how you have to proceed forward. So here I go. This is, uh, you know, I have made a very small presentation for all of you. Maybe it is visible to you and you can see this particular presentation now. So uh, maybe this is now you can see this particular uh, presentation. This is related to DOMS IIT Madras. I think my screen is visible to you. Now, uh, you know, he has given you a couple of uh, uh, research areas, couple of uh, uh, topics or couple of, uh, uh, you know, areas in uh, management from where you can choose your research area normally engineering graduates writing gate should not go for finance and marketing you know not, normally you don't have background for that so information system integrative management and operations organizational behavior and human resource management these are the four areas which you can choose now out of these four areas which one should i choose that depends upon the you know content of these areas information system just read it Cloud computing, smartphone, web personalization, information security, information privacy, IT usage, IT services. I'm very sure students from electronic background, they have done these kind of things. Or computer background, they have done these kind of things. So for computer science graduate or electronic graduate, or if you have done these kind of things, go for information systems. Integrative management is all about public policies, management, business models, entrepreneurship. So if you don't want to get into, you know, uh, nitty gritties of the technicalities of uh, technical subjects and all, you want to keep it generic, then integrative management can be option for you. And I'll be taking one example of integrative management, how you need to identify the topic for you. Any engineering graduate can go for that. Nowadays, when I say that IIT Delhi has masters for public policies, you know, IIT Tirupati has masters for public policy. So these are the same thing. I mean, entrepreneurship is a very, very generic thing. IIT Madras also has uh, you know, masters in entrepreneurship. So that SOP which you make can be used in IIT Hyderabad also. So <clears throat> now this, you see, operations. You see, supply chain, logistics, manufacturing, services, production, inventory, typically mechanical engineering domain. Mechanical and civil engineers can go for operations. And when you see organizational behavior and human resource management, typically this is for civil engineers. So if I can, you know, put the things now in order. Organizational behavior, human resource management, any engineering graduate can go, especially, uh, you know, civil engineers, because this human relations and all, they have dealt with laborers and, you know, you can think of doing that. Mechanical engineers can think of operations. Computer science engineers can think of information system. <clears throat> you know, generic, it can be integrative management. Organizational behavior, anybody can go. But when you choose the topic for you, just be very, very sure you are going to face interview and you need to tell why you are interested in this. Now, how to find out, you know, which area and how I am to write the statement of purpose. Statement of purpose is nothing but why you want IIT Madras, DOMS department. Research proposal is nothing but what will you do in that. So what you have to do that for that is you have to go and explore what professors are doing there. You have to go to faculty DOMS. So if you Google out, DOMS, IIT Madras, you will see faculty at IIT DOMS, IIT Madras, and then, you know, for each uh, particular area, faculties and their profiles will start popping up. Human, uh, human relations and, you know, 
HR and organizational behavior information systems, integrative management. Now I will show you Prakash L. I mean Professor Prakash. I will show you uh, his research area. How to explore his research area. So these are the professors. Anything first you have to identify where you want operations. I want and then go to the profile of the professors. What they are working. Now I explored Professor Prakash L. And his background I explored integrative management. I found that he is a mechanical engineer and uh, he's done his M.Tech in industrial engineering and uh, looks like he's, uh, you know, uh, looks like the area of his interest. When I saw areas of his interest, research interest and teaching interest, I found, OK, something can be done in this. I found that, OK, I have done some total quality management I've studied in my engineering. So let's think of education, total quality management, e-learning. Nowadays, COVID may you are talking about, you know, online education, online learning. It is something which is a new domain. So let's talk about total quality management and education and learning. When I saw his publications, I found that he has written a paper, Empirical Study of Total Quality Management in Engineering Education in, uh, of India. So he has done this. Then I went to Google and I Googled out this particular paper. And from Google, when I typed this same paper I typed, I got PDF of this paper. Now, when I saw the PDF of this paper, I just saw the abstract of this paper. And in the abstract, I found some particular lines which I can mention in my research proposal. Paper proposes a model of achieving institutional excellence in macro perspective of the management. So two critical factors were identified. So the moment you read some kind of paper, you will identify where you want to go. Now, he has done total quality management analysis of educational institutes. You can do it, you know, total quality management and uh, kind of uh, parametric study of online educational things. Like, you know, there are so much education is going on nowadays on YouTube and so much things. You can always make a research, uh, your area, uh, you know, research area as free education, online education as a free education. So wider perspective, something like that you can think of. You can uh, suggest some kind of, uh, you know, research area in that direction. You need to think over it. And then how to find out, you know, references. When you go back for this paper, you'll find a lot of references. And you can see the references which you can cite in your literature survey. Why I'm saying literature review is important? Because he has given you instructions how to write a research proposal. So typically your proposal should contain problem identification. What, what is your problem? To do the parametric study or to find out the parameters which are important for free online education. Uh, due to free information flow on YouTube and so many other channels. So maybe that can be the problem identification for you. What is the literature review? The paper which you saw and the references which you will mention there. What is the research methodology? How you will do that? And if you go back, you will see that people have done research methodology. They have written it. Design methodology approach. A questionnaire was developed. You also write the similar way. That design and questionnaire will be developed and literature review will be analyzed and then pilot study will be done. So people have done that correlation and multiple regression analysis will be done. So this is the research methodology He's asking you. How do you propose the how you will do that research methodology? What will be there proposed implications? What do you think will be the implications? Maybe online education nowadays can be used as a hybrid model online offline education, which will facilitate and enhance the education, you know, in uh, remote areas, especially when India is at the verge of having 5G revolution. So, you know, this can bring a revolution in the education also. References, as I told you, you can put references also. So this, you know, research proposal is something what you want to do. And SOP is something which why you want to do this particular course. So this is how I think uh, uh, we need to uh, prepare the SOP and SOR for IIT Madras. And let me tell you, if you are thinking of getting something at 400 gate score, which people are getting at 800 gate score, at least you should put effort on this document, SOP and SOR. Methodology, I told you, make a very good paper, send it to me. I will tell you how to, you know, go through it. And it is not much effort. One day's effort, maximum one day's effort. Make a very good draft, send it to me. I will correct it. Do some kind of mocks on this. Go to IIT Madras. It is easily you can get it because students are not you know, putting effort in this direction. They put a lot of effort in getting score. Now 500, 600, 700 gate score for entire year you study. But when it comes to smart work, one SOP you get insight. Smart work people don't do. I think they believe in hard work, but not smart work. Hope I made my point clear. Prepare really good SOP SOR and send it to me. Thank you.